A local man is now facing charges after a shooting earlier this morning at the Springfield Underground. Good evening. I'm Heather Lewis. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. 26 year old Stanley Johnson is facing charges of first degree assault and unlawful use of a weapon. Let's go straight to Francis Lynn live at the Springfield Underground right now for us for more on this story. Francis, what exactly happened this morning? Yeah, so Heather, this is where the shooting occurred, where Johnson was taken into custody and where one victim was being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Now, for those of you who don't know, Springfield Underground is about a three and a half million square foot underground development. It's a former limestone mine shut down in 2015, and now it's all storage and warehouse space. Springfield Police Department released a statement saying it appears at this time this was a random incident and not directed to a specific person or business. And now John Griesmer, president of the Erling Group, says during an emergency situation, all buildings go into immediate lockdown so everyone was secure in their facilities at the time of the shooting. I also spoke to neighboring businesses. Some told me they've never seen that many police cars in their life. So thanks to the uh, quick action of our team, and our emergency response plan uh, worked out. Obviously, we'll, we will go into a review stage, uh, do a breakdown of our uh, you know, reactions, what we do in this situation and how we need to adjust, if any. Uh, we had a pretty good idea whenever back on the east side of the building, uh, the fire trucks and ambulances were being staged there. And when they put uh, the vest and helmets on, we had a pretty good idea there was probably a shooter. There was also a man who worked in one of those warehouses who said this is not the first active shooter situation he's been in. This is the fourth um, active shooter situation I've been in my life. First one was in 82 in high school. And so this morning I get to work sitting in my office about eight o'clock my boss calls and says, uh, there's an active shooter situation. Get away from the windows. Make sure everybody goes into the back of the warehouse. Now, John Griesmer has more on Springfield Underground security system and how he may want to improve it in the future. He also talks about how Springfield's first response teams were very quick to, to get on the scene. To watch his whole interview, the video is already on our website, OzarksFirst.com, or you can also access it on your Color 10 app right on your phone. Francis Lynn, Ozarks First.